Hey guys, it's been a while since the last new Music Friday installment. But let's say that I abandoned this channel for three months because I wanted to be in a better mental state. Now that I am, let's look at some songs that dropped this Friday. First single we got is Family Ties. Both Keem and Kendrick killed it on this. It's actually been a while since we got anything from Kendrick and this feature is the start of a great comeback. The two are actually cousins so it makes sense that they now have a song together. His last TDE album is finished so I'm waiting for that alongside Donda. Good job. Second single we got is Sharing Locations by Meek Mill. I thought them going back and forth on the flow was fire, but the only rapper I didn't like on this song was Lil Baby. I just didn't think that he fit the song. Overall, it's good. Just don't let Kanye listen to it. Next single we got is Dreams Unfold by Joyner Lucas. This song wasn't it for me. I know Joyner can do way better than he did on this song. TJ completely carried him on the song, in which another rapper did on someone else's song. But I'll talk about that in another video. Overall, pretty forgettable. Your other single was better. Next single we got is the Prada remix by Rich the Kid. Rich and Polo G both went hard on this. No homo. The beat has an aggressive vibe that I really like as it brings out the energy in both artists. I like the original too and I think Rich's new album will be good. Let's see if we get his new album before Kanye's or before Kendrick's. Looks like we got another remix. This time it's the Butter Remix by BTS. If you don't know, BTS is a K-pop band comprised of 14 members. It's completely normal for a boy band to have that many members. Anyways, they linked up with Megan The Stallion for a remix of their latest hit. This song is pretty catchy and I won't even be surprised if it plays on the radio. Megan's verse actually fit with the song, which I did not expect from her considering her last rap and pop fusion with the train wreck band known as Maroon 5. This one will be on repeat. Next single we got is Know The Business. Unlike the last song with the Lil Baby feature we talked about, he actually has a good verse on here. While Babyface Ray is my favorite from Detroit, I swear Vezo is doing pretty good as well. Although I have yet to consider myself a fan, I will be in the future. I liked his sound on this song as well. Sada Baby's probably my least favorite out of Detroit but to each their own. Next single we got is Blue Emerald. It's been a while since Rich Gang and Young Thug got together on a song. Last time they were on a song was on February 17th, 2017 with Bitback. But we know the two for their iconic 2014 hit lifestyle. Anyways, Young Thug killed it on this beat. And Birdman didn't hop on the track since he sucked last time he was on a song. I think he's better at managing the label than rapping. But Young Thug has pink hair now. Or it might be blonde again at the time of making this video. Next single we got is Single and Happy. This song just has a good vibe that I can chill to. Cash's verse is good. Whale had a good verse as well and Eric set the mood for the song. Each feature had an essential part in making this song great. The song that's on the screen also has the features doing their part to make the song as good as possible. I'm throwing that out there because I'm on the song. You may not have known that I am a rapper myself, but I go by the name Shocker. I'll blow up soon just like Cash Doll. Next single we got is Demons. A Boogie is a hit or miss artist for me and he missed on this. Heavily. I might think that the original is better because Gambino did good on his verse. I mean, I know way better remixes than that. The What's Poppin' remix. The Lockdown remix. The Roses remix. I'm talking remixes in which none of the artists miss. That's what I want. Not this shit. Next single we got is That Ain't My Fault. I already mentioned the fact that Babyface Ray is my favorite rapper from Detroit so of course he went hard. No disrespect to Eminem or Big Sean though. I just like Eminem's older music and Big Sean is in the top 5 right around 3rd place. Big Sean also killed it on this song. Which made me wonder why Ray or I swear weren't included in the Friday Night Cypher. I'm not complaining though. Good song. Next single we got is I Be Chillin' by Nardo Wick. I actually like the sound he uses here as it's dark and menacing. And it works. It seems like a lot of people rock with his music as well. When I first listened to him, I thought he wasn't for me. Then I listened to his other music and got used to his style. So much so that I would call myself a fan now. Can't wait to see what else Nardo Wick drops. Next single we got is Two Chains by Hedy One. Not the rapper, the song. And although Hedy One isn't my favorite rapper from the UK, He's not that bad actually. And the UK being on a drill beat is exactly what those beats were meant for. They didn't belong to Drake or Pop Smoke. Although Pop Smoke was good at using them, 
They belong to the UK rappers. I liked his last single as well. So maybe he'll improve for me. Next single we got is Beside Me. This song's actually pretty sad especially because the rapper who made the song lost his bro. I would be sad too if my brother died. I would also write a song about it to express my feelings. It's so painful to go through this and I know that because some parents had their child die. To seek revenge on whoever killed your bro though, that's not the best option. But sometimes you gotta stand up for yourself. Next single we got is Steppers by 22Gs. He's one of my favorites from Brooklyn and I actually like his music. Then there's rappers like 6 9 aka the Skittle who snitched. His music gets me hyped and although not the most versatile, I still like his music. And whoever said there isn't talent nowadays weren't looking deep enough into the genre. Next single we got is See Me. I'm keeping this one short so let's just say that you shouldn't freestyle to a song that was part of the most dangerous beef in the whole rap game. The next single and the last single. We're going for two in one here. First, the 100k cypher 2. Everybody was good on this. And I feel bad for Melly. Hope he gets out soon. And second, and actually the last single is Pimping Benjamin. This song has great lyrics talking about signing to labels and why you shouldn't. Both of these are great songs and a good way to close out another new music Friday. I've been, I've been dying this 